Hi, my name is Nicole Hemrick, and I'm the managing attorney at Hemrick O'Malley PLLC. Today, I'd like to discuss a change to the USCIS policy manual regarding the employer's ability to pay in the I-140 context. That is, when an employer is petitioning for permanent status for an employee. For years, it has been that the employer must demonstrate the ability to pay when dealing with a labor certification case, commonly known as PERM. This is the sort of case when there's an initial step that requires recruitment. However, in other contexts, this has not really been a focus in I-140 petitions. Now, with the policy update, USCIS clarifies that the ability to pay must be demonstrated on all immigrant petitions coming from an employer, meaning those petitions that are not self-sponsored, such as for outstanding professors and researchers, multinational executives and managers, for advanced degree professionals of exceptional ability, and of course, still for skilled workers, professionals, and other workers. So how do we demonstrate ability to pay? Much like it has been done for cases that were initiated through a labor certification for years. Things like annual reports, tax returns, audited financial statements, a financial officer statement. Of course, if the company has had this particular individual on the payroll and they have a W-2 statement for this person for that amount, or they're replacing somebody that has been paid that amount. Of course, bank account statements, income and assets, and all of this applies except there is a carve out for U.S. employers that employ a hundred or more workers, instead of providing these sorts of things like annual reports or federal tax returns, the financial officer statement is supposed to suffice. If you have questions about this or any other immigration matter, give us a call at 833-848-7838.